So in this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze data to investigate correlations. Using Jamovi, we click on analysis. We're going to go under the regression tab right here and correlation matrix. You can conduct a, a Pearson correlation analysis or a Spearman analysis, depending on your data set. And we can talk about that in another video. But for now, let's just go ahead and we'll run a Pearson correlation analysis. And very simply, just select the data that you want to analyze. In this case, let's look, for instance, at leadership. We'll look at influential leadership. We can look at being selfless. And let's go ahead and we'll look at assertive and age. What we are looking at over here on the right is our correlations. And Jamovi allows us, we can even flag significant correlations using this option right here. And when we go through this correlation matrix right here, we can see that the influential category in selfless is significant. In another video, I describe how being below or alpha level of 0 0.05 means it's significant. In this case, it's less than 0 0.001. And then that's our p-value. And our r-value, or the effect size, is 0.329. If you investigate the effect sizes for Pearson correlation coefficients, you'll find, find that uh, around that 0.3 level means it's a moderate effect size. Additional correlations that are significant would be influential and assertiveness, we see right here. And we also see that age and being influential is there's a significant relationship there. We do not see relationships between selfless and assertive, age and selfless, and assertive and age. Looking at a different data set, I thought I might want to show you what a negative correlation looks like meaning in this case we have anticipated discrimination for instance is negatively correlated with age meaning as someone gets older the amount of discrimination that they anticipate in the sample decreases this is at a effect size of a negative 0.185 meaning relatively low to moderate effect size another example is the amount of day-to-day -day discrimination that's self-reported with age is also negatively correlated, meaning as someone gets older, they, they report less day-to-day -day discrimination, but there's no significant relationship between major forms of discrimination and age. I hope that helps you better understand correlations, including the p-value, if it's below 0 0.05, the effect size, and understanding if it's a positive or negative correlation.